the BBC, Channel 2. I'm here with Penelope Pip Sniking as she is in town for a world tour of her latest tour, which I will let her tell you a little bit about. Hello, Penelope. Hello, darling. It's been an ice age, hasn't it's it? It's been an ice age, a darling. Millennium, as you will. <laughs> We had some good times. We didn't did. We? We, what we remember. <laughs> kiss, kiss, darling. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah. Oh. So good to be here. Really, really, it is. It's really good. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad, darling. You have as much energy, energy as you've always had, yes, darling. I, have, really. I just have a couple of questions. Oh, to ask I love you. questions. Well, that's what we're here for. <laughs> yes. All right, darling. So, what's the name of your tour that you're on here? It was called Wild and Wet. Oh, yes. Yes, because we have a whole thing with a hose. And, well, I'll tell you later. Oh. I can't really tell you everything and tell you. I've signed an NDA and all. Oh, yes. I heard a little rumor that there's a slip and slide as well. There is. Oh my gosh, you've done your homework! <laughs> naughty, <laughs> naughty. Jen, you are naughty. I yeah, love it. You haven't changed a bit. I will. Okay. A couple of lines. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, no. Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm Joshy. I'm Joshy. Now that's war. <laughs> that's war. <laughs> all right, Penelope. Yeah, so, right. onward and upward, yes. as, as we like to say. Yes. Go. Oh. <laughs> George Michaels. Well, you know, George and I, we were together in 1984. And it was a September-May romance. And it was crazy because, you know, he didn't really seem like he was that much into me. You know, I thought there was a little bit too much freedom, if you know what I mean. Like his song. That's right. Freedom. Remember, we were going to be in that shop with all the models, and then oh. they said no for some reason at the I end know. of it. I thought for sure that you and I... But well, anyways, we parted ways because I always saw him looking at my brother, Otto. Oh. And yes, yes, and Otto as well. You know, he goes flies the other way, as that, you will. I hear yes, you, I hear yes. you. So, darling, was it hard to train for this tour? Because, you know, mm. I mean, we're not as young as we used to be. I mean, No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well, anyways, I had the top trainers in the field all the way from Bombal's way. And, yes, yes. Oh. And, and then there's a few from L.A. and they're crazy. You know how they are. Oh. And they've really got my bum up where it used to be. And these girls, well, that's a whole different story. I mean, you know, you and I share the doctor that did yours. Oh, yes, darling. He did mine as well. Again, <laughs> well, well, when you get into your late thirties, you have to do things like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, not me particularly, but, oh, but you know, it was a little bit later than that. But, yes. And rumor has it that, hmm. that Britney Spears' choreographer helped you with this show. Is that true? How was it's, he to work with? It's you know, he was fascinating. You know, I I do believe that uh, you know Britney is in her twenties and I'm not. So he just assumed I would have all the same moves and that, that my limbs would go just like hers, all limber and, and such. And it didn't quite work out that way, you know. Oh it was a little bit, oh, I, there was a little bit more of uh, pushing me to limits that I've never been, frankly. Oh. <laughs> but no, no, you know, we have a lot of dancers around me. They've hired extra. Oh, good. Because sometimes they put me right in the middle, in the back. Yes, and then they feature the other dancers. Right. takes the pressure off of you. Yes, and there's right. a lot of pressure, you know, keeping up with the Britneys and the Christina Aguileras oh, and I'm whatnot, sure. way under Rihanna's as well. I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure, yes, darling. yes. Darling, face the camera. Oh, oh, we, oh the, so the sorry, sorry. Yes. Oh, hello. Face, hello, it's so good to be back. So, um, yes. I, I see here in my notes that you've written um, a best a telltale novel of sorts, not a novel, but more like a biography. Yes, and yes. it does list quite a lot of conquests yeah. that you've had in your past. So, very exciting. Could you tell us just a couple of goodies? Okay, well, like, you know, I don't like to name names. You know, I'm not like that. I'm not like one to tattle. <laughs> Out of school. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Just right. a moment. I, oh. Oh. Mm. Yes, 
have a drink. Oh, thank you. Finally, someone listens to me. Your producers are wonderful, by oh, the way, yes. Joan. I love them. Class, classy mm. show we are here. Mm. Mm. I love Cattle One. Oh, good. So, anyways, well, there was a time when I had a few of them just in the palm of my hand. You know, I had your Roger Daltrey, your Peter Frampton. Wow. Mick Jagger and some other members of the Rolling Stones that I don't really like to mention out loud. You've seen the pictures lately. I don't mean, oh, I'm sorry, I'm terrible, I'm bad, I'm bad, oh, I'm bad. Oh, and what is this, your little friend? Oh, here? you know, it's getting a little bit up in years, but this is my Willow. Willow has been through every tour and he doesn't really like strangers. Oh, sorry, oh. Willow. Oh. But, you know, he's he's been there when all the men haven't. You know, oh, that's, that's when Roger left me and uh, went off with some I don't, top model, they're always going with the top models, you know. I know. It's... But I've had a lot of interludes, as you will. I've had a lot of interludes with years, yes, years. Yes. I've seen you at the parties, Joan. Oh, yes, darling, yes, yes. I, I'm yes. a jet We've setter. Indulged. You are still a jet setter. Yes, of yes. course, darling. So I know that you recently spent a lot of time in Los Angeles. So yes. Did you like it there? Well, I find that the Americans, I love Americans, but you know, I'm a Manchester girl, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I feel I'm kind and I'm great, you know, always graceful and grateful to all the Americans, but they're a little bit uptight. Oh, yeah. You know, they call the British uptight, but we're not like they They're always worried about their weight and their looks and all that. That's we're not true. really that concerned. No. <laughs> not no. us, Joe. You know why? Why? Because there's a pub on every corner in London. Thank so God. If you're feeling a little low about yourself, just <laughs> go and have a little nip. But you know what I mean? Which we will do probably right after this show. Sure. I can't wait. Judging on how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> So, darling, I'm yes. having so mm. another question. Right, um, I love questions. I mentioned that before. Um, there's been some rumours that mm. you've had a little work done. Is that true? Uh, oh, work. Well, rumours, as you will. I've been freshened up a bit, you know, because you're always under the light and, and, and it does something to your skin. It's not from ageing or nothing like that. No, it's no, not that. No, it's not I, that I, at I all. Never, no, no, that's crazy. No, no I would not. But, you know, because being under the lights and being a movie star, well, I've done acting as well, oh. you know. You've seen some of my Oh, work. yes, that's right. Yes, yes, right. yes, You yes. were nominated for... I brought something. For a Tony. A t Tony and a, and a Bobby and a whole bunch. <laughs> Let me tell you, I've been nominated for lots of things, oh. but, you know, and, uh, and, and I'm called a lot of names as well. But that's something different from the tabloids and way back. You know, we don't want them to get all there. But, you know... Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, I've already forgotten. Were, well, your work, your plastic surgery. Oh, my plastic surgery. Rumours, the rumours. Uh, like I said, rumours, and, and we use that term loosely. But, uh, you know, um, I have had the nose uh, uh, thinned out a bit. Oh. Because when you get old, like I said, my 30s or 40, where am I? I don't know, but Joan, it's funny. It, it, this thinned out a bit, and then a couple of those crow's feet, and I never thought that it would bother me but somebody mentioned it in our uh, okay magazine yeah and look you oh. know how look is brutal isn't it they yes remember what they did to you in the summer of 77 no well, let's not talk no, about no, that no, 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 let's. no it's about you, about, me. <laughs> it's about you darling oh. okay um, yes this is, uh, we've got a couple more questions because mm. we do have to wrap this up because mm. we only have a 15 minute segment. Now, um, I was wondering, um, did you ever have a true love that still lives on in your heart and that you're sorry that things did not work out? Who would that be? I would have to say uh, John Cleese. John Cleese. John Cleese. I, yes, oh. and Sean Claude Pantam. <laughs> Of them. Well, they were both loved in different eras and decades. They're completely and different. They are, aren't they? Completely. Because I changed every decade. I didn't want the same kind of a man. Because John Cleese is more of a man. Right. You know, remember when he played a barrister in A Fish Called Wanda? Oh, yes. Lovely film. You know, lovely. I love that film. Lovely. And you know, Really, that's how he he would sing to me in Italian whenever we would make love. Now, I know he's married now. Hi, John. Oh, I don't mean any disrespect. But Jean-Claude Van Damme, not much.
much of a talker. I mean, he would talk in his own language, but we, you know, but he, he broke my heart because, you know, the drugs and all Oh, that. yes, really? yes, yes. steroids. Yes. Oh, it's in the book. Oh, good. I'll get the book, the everyone. Get the book. What's the Penelope, name of the pit sniping, a pot of gold <laughs> and old. Uh, <laughs> a pot of gold and old by Penelope pit sniping. <laughs> um, it's lovely to see you again, Thank you darling. so much for having me. I know so we're both happy. so thrilled to be on tour again. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> Pip snacking. Oh, live from the BBC. Thank you and good night. Okay.